Hey, another day at the office. <laughs> Just arrived at CBC North Africa to do this one. And head back to London afterwards. So we're here at BBC North Africa. Uh, real rock style, real rock reggae style, mm. this kind of jazz. jazz. How does it work? I, I, I once brought an album that had some Bob Marley covers of jazz music, okay, and yeah, that, yeah. I could play Which that one? even now. Which yeah. one of them? It had about 14 tracks on it. Okay. it was, um, I forget the name, but um, it was all Bob Marley songs yeah. jazzed up, and it was like, wow. Yeah. Um, I mean, is it something like that that you're doing? Um, in terms of pushing the album? Uh, as in, you know, fusing jazz with reggae. Oh. Um, kind of, yes, yes. You could say that because if you know the songs, initially, I mean, you'll hear the songs, you'll hear the melodies and you'll be familiar with the songs, but it's not done in a reggae way at all. So like, for instance, the project, one of the projects similar to what you're talking about is Charlie Hunter. He did Natty Dread, he's an American guitarist, and he did the Natty Dread album, but in like straight ahead jazz though, it's not like smooth jazz, yeah, it's yeah. straight ahead jazz. Jazz, yeah. yeah, and it's a beautiful album, you know what I mean? So that's somewhat I like to do. When I cover a song, I don't, I hardly like to have elements of the original in there, kind of make it my own in a sense, yeah. you know. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. It's a bright and sunny day in Northampton outside the restaurant. Just had lunch, heading back to London. Showcase tonight is it. Should be fun. Should be fun. So, we finished with the showcase at Lover's Rock Lounge. And I was walking around trying to find something to eat while on the phone with my Uncle Noel, who I haven't seen or heard from in years. but. His daughter, my cousin, came to the performance, came to the showcase and called him. So I was on the phone for like half an hour with him while walking and trying to find somewhere to eat. So good vibes, good performance. Everybody lo loved the tunes, loved the songs, loved the vibe. So I'm here at this kebab spot having fish and chips at 12.15. I want to do this and go back to the hotel because we check out at 11 a.m. But it was a good vibe tonight and hopefully we can do more things in London because people love the vibes and I love the vibes so it's a good vibe, just vibes out.